to my cooking nook. I'm Christine Deaton. We are here in Branson, Missouri with you, with me, and we have a great show. Today we are celebrating my dad. Now my dad, Art, passed away in 2012, and September 14th would have been his birthday. So we're doing a little meal that I know dad would have loved. He did love meatloaf. So we're going to do a little take on meatloaf today. I do want to shout out to Dottie Zarnowski. Happy birthday, girl. I know you're out there from New Jersey. And we want to say we hope you're having a wonderful day. And thank you for sharing your beautiful day with us here in Branson, Missouri. Happy that's birthday, the, that's Dottie. That's the, uh, the greatness of, you know, the, the Internet and stuff is that we can celebrate all over the world, all over the country. So happy birthday, Dottie. And happy birthday, Dad. I want to show you my little table right here. And if you can get a close-up, Chris, that's Dad right there. He was a great, great, great man, one of the best that ever lived on this planet. And I wanted to make sure, there's Mom over there, and she's a, little, a treasure. she's a little bit misty right now, thinking about my dad. we got Eden with us today, and we've got my daughter Elizabeth with us, manning the phones. And I just wanted to point something else out right over here, is that Dad was born in 1935, and it just so happened, it wasn't planned, this is show number 35. I said that. Isn't that crazy? I said that to Eden just it's it's I when we realized when I realized that today I said oh my god I didn't even realize that so this show is meant to be so happy birthday dad okay oh that's so dad loved meatloaf yes loved meatloaf probably one of his favorite one of his favorite meals yes. probably top two yes. or three so we're gonna make little mini meatloafs today and how did dad like his meatloaf well let me tell you he liked it right on top of the meatloaf he liked mashed potatoes. And right on top of that, he liked peas. So we're doing little mini meatloaf, mashed potato, and pea. Uh, yummy, scrumptious, delicious lunch today. Okay, so that's what we're doing with that. He also loved pumpkin pie. That was his favorite pie. So today, we're going to get Eden's help in a little bit. And we're going to make mini pumpkin pies. Like empanada kind of little things, because they're going to be fried. A little bit of powdered sugar. They're going to be delicious. So I want to show you what I've got going on before we move on. I've got my mashed potatoes, I cut my potatoes into, I just, you know, peeled the potatoes, cut them kind of small, pieces about this big, put them in the water, they're just about done. Back here I've got my peas, this is my pot that I'm going to be doing my, uh, frying my little pies. But right now, hey, let's get to putting the meatloaf together, okay? You guys know that I'm going to use ground turkey, you can use ground beef, mom always used ground beef for dad, dad yes. was, a, was a beef guy, yes. he liked hamburgers, he liked meatloaf with meatballs. beef, uh, meatballs, he liked, you know, steak, dad loves steak, but with dad, everything had to have been well done. And the funny thing is that when we were growing up, I think most of us still like well done steak, and I don't eat steak anymore, but uh, <laughs> I remember when I did, even from this way, baby, when I did, we would all kind of fight over the crispiest part of the steak, that little piece that you grilled on the stove or outside and it was crunchy and we all wanted that that crunchy piece of steak uh, <laughs> you know as much as i can't eat beef it's a lot of foods anymore i still remember that taste that taste you just don't forget so when i think about you know how long it's been since i've had a hamburger or a piece of steak or a roast beef or anything like that I can still remember the taste, so it just kind of helps me get past that moment of, I want a hamburger. Okay, let's work with my ground turkey, because that, to me, in my mind, looks like ground beef, sort of. So, this is going to be our meatloaf today, so that I can have lunch too, because uh, I'd like to do that today, since it's, we're celebrating Dad's birthday. Okay, so what do I do? Meatloaf is very easy, okay? Everybody has their own meatloaf recipe, whether you put oatmeal or regular bread, or you could use like, um, for gluten free, you can do like a rice, uh, crispy rice cereal. There's a whole bunch of things you can do for your breading. And today, you know me, I'm going to use my Italian bread crumbs. That's what mom used, right mom? That's what mom used, and that's what I'm using. Hey, let me check my potatoes real quick. So we have Mary Morton Good, hello. Zarnowski, and Mary Heffington joining us. Hello, 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 everybody. And Mary Halsey. 
Thank you so much, all of you, for being with us today. Remember, spread the word. We want more people joining us every week. Okay? Um, and we want to keep this show going. So as long as you guys are out there and you're wanting to see the show, we're going to do it. Okay, so I just put my garlic salt California blend in there. And if I was to measure that out, you know, a lot of cooks just kind of do that, that. We just do that kind of thing. But I would say probably at least a good tablespoon, <clears throat> maybe a little more, because brown turkey really doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. So you really got to kind of make that up with your ingredients, okay? I'm going to put in one egg. The egg is the binder, okay? I'm also going to put Dad loved black pepper, didn't he? So That's I'm going to crack. Yes. yes. So I'm going to put some cracked black pepper in here. Pepper, pepper here. My dad used to say pepper here. Pepper about. Pepper about. Okay. And then I'm going to do probably, probably close to a tablespoon of parsley. Okay. Just the dry little parsley flakes. That's all it is. Now. If I were to just mix it up as is, it'd be a super, super dry consistency. You've got to put a little water. You've got to put a little water. And now, now let's say you're not used to putting water in meatloaf. And when you put the water, you say, oh my gosh, now it's just flopping all over the place. Get a little bit more breadcrumbs. That'll even it out, okay? So it's kind of fun. You get to play with food. <laughs> And that's all I'm going to do now is mix everything. And again, if my consistency is not exactly where I want it, I just add either more water or more breadcrumbs. That's it. It's so simple. Hey, my cookbook, guys, let me tell you. It's turned out to be something pretty fascinating. I am very proud of it. It has been a tremendous amount of work. And I really want you guys to have one. So. What I'm going to say to you is, we are still, believe it or not, trying to get 100 people. <laughs> I know life is busy and crazy and all that stuff, but we really want to get to that 100 mark on YouTube. So we would appreciate, hey, that's a perfect consistency, by the way. That is exactly what I want for my meatloaf, my little meat loaves, okay? Um, let me take this out of the sink because I'm going to use that for my potatoes here in just a bit. Um, anyway. It's a, it turned out to be a great project. We want everybody to have it. And we've got to get to that 100 mark. Eaton, my grandson who's here today, he, he's the one who came up with the incentive. Hey, Grandma, maybe if you can tell everybody that you want you know, to hit a milestone on YouTube by like some incentive, how about a cookbook, um, then maybe they'll do it. Well, we're up there, okay? But we still have a little bit. We're three quarters of the way of getting my cookbook out there. So here's what I'm going to say to you guys. If you haven't liked and subscribed on YouTube, please do it and tell whoever you know to get us there so we can get this cookbook out. I want it out by Christmas. I want you guys to be able to have a cookbook by Christmas and it's a great gift. It turned out to be a beautiful little book. I'm huh? I'm giving five of them for That's great. Oh. That's, I'm excited about that, yeah. and I want everybody to give away my cookbook for Christmas. Why not? Christmas. Cookbooks are great gifts, by the way, for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Not just for women, for everybody. Men like to cook, too. I'm just going to throw this away, because you know what I say, guys. Clean, Clean as you go. go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see how my potatoes are doing. Let's see. Hey, these are close. About five more minutes. Can we be done? Peas are done. Let me stir them up. Stir, stir, stir. My peas are back there. Now in the peas, all I put was some cracked black pepper, a little bit of salt, a little bit. You know I don't like salt, but you have to flavor them a little bit. And I put a little pat of butter. That's all that's in the peas, okay? Now, calorie-wise, if you don't like calories, you can't eat my potatoes today. It's going to be milk, and there's going to be a lot of butter, and of course potatoes. None of that's diet, but we're celebrating birthday. So there. So Dottie, what are you doing today on your birthday? I want her to tell us. So Elizabeth, let us know. Okay. Okay. While Elizabeth's finding out from Dottie what she's doing today, hey, I'm going to make the, the middle for my little tiny uh, pumpkin pie, fried pies that we're going to make. So let me show you what's in here. Okay. 
Uh, I used the, you know, the, the pure pumpkin right here, okay? And it really, it, I, I want a half a cup, which was about half the can, okay? So a half a cup of pumpkin puree. The Libby's is great, whatever brand you like, but Libby's is always, I mean, Libby's has been around a million years, so you know their product is good. That. I'm going to put that here because right now I've got my strainer in there, so I'm just going to put that stuff on the side. Okay, now I'm going to put, what am I going to put next? I'm going to put, I have a third of a cup of just regular white granulated sugar. I am going to put, um, this is uh, an eighth of a teaspoon, oh, a half a teaspoon of salt, an old salt. I have one beaten egg yolk. Egg yolk, guys. So she says she's not doing anything exciting, just hanging out at home. Well, then we're just having a celebration right here for we're you, Donnie. We're glad you're here with us. <laughs> and we're very, very happy that you're with us today. And, you know, I don't know how old you are, and it doesn't matter. And happy birthday and many, 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 many more. Okay. And then we're going to do, and I want to make, I want to make sure you got the, the, this, this right. And this is a half a teaspoon of uh, the pumpkin pie spice. We've got nutmeg and, and cinnamon and cloves and things like that. That's what's in the pumpkin pie spice. And that is going in. So we have Marco Miranda who says, I love to cook. And Jen Beal is watching with us. She Hello, says, Hello, sister. How's the house coming? Brand new house. Yay. Okay, the last thing I'm going to put in here is a half of a cube, which is four ounces of cream cheese. Yeah, this is going to be quite delicious. Eden, will you throw that away for me, honey? Yes, and then you're going to, over here, and then you're going to come over here and I'm going to show you how to put this together. Yes. Oh, I'm also going to add, it's, it's really not on my recipe, but I'm going to add a little drop of vanilla because vanilla always makes everything taste better. So I'm just going to, like, there you go, like maybe half a teaspoon, maybe even less than that, but that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm going to mix this all together. And I think I'm going to try it with a spoon first. And we'll see how that comes out. Now, what's going to happen is this. So I bought, store bought, in the refrigerator section, a pie crust. And in a box, you get two, like it's for a double pie, like a top and a bottom of a pie. And then what I did was I just used my little, I have a dough press set with three different sizes in there. And so I used the white one, which was the smallest one, which is I think about three inches across. Okay. Now the, the dough press has two sides. This one you can actually use to close the dough, okay, and tighten it. And the other half I use for my press, like right here. Let me show you what I'm doing. And I used it for the press. Okay. And there it is. Ta-da! And that's the pie. And that was, and those are the little, yeah, these are the little mini pies that we're going to make. Ah. And so then we're going to put just a tiny little thing, we're going to flip it over, and I'll show you what we're going to do. And then I'm going to do one, and then you're going to put the rest of them together, okay? I'm going to have you throw that away, please. Okay. So let's get this mixed up. Let me check on my potatoes. I don't want my potatoes, you know, you want soft potatoes. Yeah. Okay, let me get this mixed. We have Hello. Margie Newsom watching this morning. Hello, Margie. How are you, girl? Good to see you out there. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Today, I am celebrating my dad's birthday. He would have been 85 years old September 14th, two days ago. And he was a wonderful, wonderful man. I have great parents. That had how many years were you married when dad had like almost 50, 54. Almost 54, 54 years when my dad passed um, and uh, just you know just a great couple and um, just like enjoyed each other's company All until the, the day my dad died I mean literally time. and so it was it was a very good relationship for them and I know mom misses dad terribly we all do it's kind of like this gigantic void in the universe. Yes, it is. Um, but that's what happens when you love someone a lot, and uh, and they're gone. But they're only gone from this world, not the spirit. Okay, so let me show you what I'm going to do here in one second. Eden, 
I want you to keep stirring this while I drain the potatoes. So Nicolette is with us. She says she loves Nicolette. your shirt. Thank you. I do too. I said the same. Thing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are going to just drain the the, the potato. You say potato. I say potato. Okay. We're not yeah. calling the whole thing off. Or we'll call the whole thing off. That's right. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, what I usually do, is I put the butter on the bottom, and I may add more butter. And it's melting, okay? It's in the same pot, and the butter's already melting from when I put my potatoes in. All right, beautiful potatoes. Let's get them in. Come on, behave. Hey, they all went in. Yeah. Love it. Let me get my mess cleaned up. Oh my gosh, that was a big mess. Okay, start squishing it down, folks. You know, you got your potato masher. I have at times just used my little whisk. Does the same kind of a thing. Okay. Is with us. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for joining us. People, we appreciate that so much. Okay, obviously it looks really dry. Well, yeah, we didn't put any liquid in yet. There goes my milk. All right. That's beautiful. Now, I am going to put, stay right there, Chris. I'm going to put some of the cracked black pepper. I'm also going to put some garlic salt. These are going to be super yummy. Now, you guys might just use plain salt for your mashed potatoes. Use the garlic salt. That flavor is like one of those things that it's like up a notch, big time. Just some garlic salt instead of regular salt in mashed potatoes. Adds flavor and reduces the sodium amount. Yeah, it's just a it's just a great addition to mashed potatoes. I want more milk, and I may even put more milk after that because I want a perfect consistency that will sit right on top of my little meatloaves. Okay. This is looking beautiful. All right, Eden, how are you doing over there with that? Oh, great. I am going to put a little bit more milk because I want the consistency just a little tiny bit smoother. Okay, so Nicolette says she's pretty sure she puts it in everything. She what? <laughs> uh, Nicolette says she's pretty sure she puts garlic salt in everything. Yeah, I pretty <laughs> much do too. And uh, Anna? Classic says she loves garlic salt. I, I'm saying garlic salt is just one of those things that just should be in everybody's Every, kitchen. <laughs> put it in every everybody's place. kitchen. Everybody. Okay, guys, I want you to look at this. These, come on over, are perfect mashed potatoes. And how quick was that? Look at that. Beautiful mashed potatoes. Okay. So this is going to sit a few minutes on low. My peas are done, and so what they're going to do is they're actually going to be stacked again on my on my meat rolls. So Nicolette's asking if you ever put sour cream in your potatoes or cream uh, cheese. I don't, but people do all the I time, do. and that's a perfect uh, addition. Also, it adds a little bit of tang to the potato. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with adding some sour cream. Now I can see this. Because all my stuff here will go into my dishwasher when I'm done. And then, like I tell you guys, I usually have one dishwasher load of dishes, clean up, done. Ha <laughs> ha, that's the way I like it. That's the way it's done in my kitchen. And it'll help you, trust me. Okay, right now I am just heating up my pan, my handy dandy skillet, okay? And we are going to make our little mini meat ones. So, they're actually going to be shaped like little mini meatloaves. Why not, right? I'm going to fry them up. There you go. You know you always have to have oil with ground turkey, always. It doesn't really, you know, when you're making ground beef, and sometimes if I'm cooking ground beef for the family, I forget how much grease comes out of beef. I forget. And I go, oh, geez. I'm not used to seeing that in my, in my pots here. But with, with ground turkey, you have to help it. Okay? All right, let's make, I have a good palm full of meat. Okay? And I am going to shape it like a little tiny meatloaf. 
Okay, a little tiny meatloaf. You're the only one that I know gets flavor out of ground turkey. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know if you heard my mom. She said I'm the only one that not knows how to flavor ground turkey. It's true. But the fact is I use it like four or five times a week. So I'm kind of used to it. Okay, there's my first little loaf. Okay. Beautiful little loaves. I'm so excited. I think Dad would absolutely have loved this. Oh my god. This little meal. Yes. I know you so would. Good. You would have said, woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> my dad, too, was, I'll talk about my dad for a minute. He was a die hard Yankee, New York Yankee fan. I see what. And he watched every game. When we were kids, my dad was a, for many years, my dad was a, a mailman. And then he went and got his degree and he became a teacher. And he was a wonderful teacher, great teacher. Um, but, you know, and, and he continued to work for the federal government because he, then he taught on one of the Indian reservations, which that's what brought us to Arizona to begin with. And, um, but because he worked for the federal government, he had some inns at the post office. And a lot of times they gave away, um, like, uh, season tickets or, you know, maybe not a season ticket, but a, a ticket or two or three or ten for some of the Yankee games. We also went to um, Shea Stadium, which was the Mets, but we went to Yankee Stadium a lot when I was a kid. So we we actually got to see the New York Yankees. Talking about in the 70s, we did a lot of that. And so I thank Dad for that. And of course, when we were there, um, Dad was in seventh heaven because he just loved the New York Yankees. And there was nothing like going to a game. As we got older, uh, the Arizona, the state of Arizona got their own team, the Diamondbacks. And um, we went to a lot of games. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous stadium. Oh, look at this. These are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Uh, okay. Is that hello? Hello. How are you? Thank you for joining us. We want everybody, please, please, please go like and subscribe us on YouTube. We want to get this cookbook out. Don't make me have worked so hard and not get the cookbook out. No, I love, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> And Aunt Harolyn just joined us. Hi, Harolyn. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> All right. There's another little mini meatloaf. Okay, Eden. Yes, We're yes. going to get over to the pies in a second. Okay? You're doing a great job over there, buddy. Okay. So, you know, by the time you put your breadcrumbs and all the stuff in the meat, um, it's only a pound of meat. I'm going to probably get seven, eight loaves. That's that's good yeah. for one pound of meat. That's good. But I, I, you know, I use a lot of the breadcrumbs. I have to say, I do. I use a lot of the breadcrumbs. Me too. Um, I, I like the flavor of the Italian style breadcrumbs, and it's a great filler. And it tastes really yummy. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to get seven little loaves. Perfect. There's enough for everybody here. <laughs> you know what I was going to do today, and then I just kind of didn't. I should have. I was going to make a fresh loaf of bread, but today, for a little bread on the side, I have some nice croissants over oh. there. So, we're going to have croissants. All right, and we're going to do one more loaf, and that is done. Hallelujah, here we go. These are going to be delicious. All right. This is going to be a little baby one. Who wants a little tiny one? How cute is this? All right. There we go. Let me wash my hands. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. And I have my little pot handle, I mean, a uh, lined uh, plate for the meatloaf. Okay. Because I'm going to take them out a few minutes. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn the rest of these. Then I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to let them cook through. Because they are kind of thick. So let me get these turned around. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Mom, wait till you see these. They're beautiful. Beautiful. And I'm telling you, Dad would have loved them. They would have loved them. All right. Let's cover them. Let's turn this baby down. This is good. This is good. Okay. Eat it. Here we go. 
Okay, so let me go ahead right there. All right, so what we're going to do right now, and I'm going to show you how to do it, and then I want you to put them together for me. Okay, we're just going to kind of flower the board a little bit, and then we're going to take one of our little pies. This is our little pie. Okay, now, this looks great, by the way. That looks great. Okay. So, we're going to take, the trick is to not put too much filling, otherwise it's all over the place. So we are going to take uh, about that much, okay? And then when you fold this over, okay, you're actually going to dip your finger, your hands are clean, right? You cleaned them before the show. You said you, you did. I know you did. You're a good boy. And then you're just going to, if you look in here, Chris, I don't know how close you are there, you're just going to, it, it makes it adhere to the other side. Now, now, yes, now you're going to take your fork and you're going to push down all the outside rim, okay? Because this is another way to ensure that the stuff, the filling, is not going to come out. Okay, and then you can set that right there. Let's do one more, and then you're going to do it, okay? Okay, so right there. And then again, we're going to wet. Is everybody out there seeing what I'm doing? Yes, maybe, yes, maybe not. I don't know. And then you're actually going to push it down, okay? And then again with the fork, okay? And you really have to make sure that you're pushing it down pretty hard because it's got to keep the filling inside, okay? And then I'm going to start heating up the pan and we're going to start frying those babies. Go ahead. All right, let's see how the meat loaves are doing. They're beautiful. Let me turn this one over now. These are beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. Let's turn it up a little bit and let that go. Okay, so I've got my mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are done, okay? Those are beautiful mashed potatoes. I'm gonna mix up my peas right here to make sure they're doing okay. You doing all right, peas? All right, they answered yes, they're doing great. All right, let's get this getting hot. Okay, I'm tell I'm you, it smells it great on, in yeah, here. Yeah, it does. Mm. I'm gonna start it on a high heat. Then I may have to turn it down because we don't want the little pies to burn and we need we need all of the um, pie crust to cook through. You don't want to break that little pie open and have raw pie dough. Nasty. So we're going to make sure that it is cooked through. Oh my gosh. Those are so beautiful. I feel like I'm going to cry. So those are, those are pre-made pie, pie. It's just a yes. Now you can make your own, but yeah. in fast, easy, and delicious, I want it fast. Yeah. So I just got, I mean, literally, it was the great value, and they had two big, long pie crusts, and I just made the little circles, and it's a good idea. idea. Yeah. Okay, so, and what we're going to do at the end, what, after I get the little pies fried up, um, we're going to put powdered sugar, because that's like one of my favorite things on top of a pie or a dessert or whatever, and then that's it, and then we're done. Meat's just about done, it's basically just cooking through. I'm going to put my mashed potatoes and the peas on top, and I'm going to serve it, and that's going to be lunch today for Dad's 85th birthday. All right, Eden, how are you doing over there, bud? Pretty good. Okay. Because we're going to start frying here. Let's Remember, don't ever put cold oil into a cold pan. Doesn't work. Fries weird. Don't do it. Heat the pan. We're going to need a quite a bit of oil for this. I've got probably a half an inch of oil because I'm going to have to flip the little pies. Okay. I'm going to put paper towel on my little platter over here because it, it is going to be, I, want, I don't want it saturated with fat. So I just kind of absorb whatever little bit of grease there might be at the end onto that. I also have, I'm going to try two different scoopies with the little holes that also, as you know, helps drain whatever fat is on, whatever grease is on your pastry. That helps a lot. So let's let this heat up a minute. Let's 
see how we're doing. <laughs> these are so beautiful. I can't even tell you how excited I am about these little mini meatloaves. But I want to make sure they're cooked through, so I'm just going to let them simmer. Simmer, simmer, simmer. Eating how we do it over here, babe. Great. Hey, he's so, doing a good job. And Sharon's Look with us. That. Hi, Sharon. Thanks for being here. And Nicolette's comment, comment on me, and she says his voice is so deep. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody that sees him anymore feels the same thing. All right. Let's see how we're doing. I'm going to bring one of the little pies over. I don't think the oil is ready yet, but we'll give it a second. And then I'll put it in. It feels pretty hot. Normally, you probably should um, have a thermometer, an oil thermometer. I don't have one, so that might be a Christmas gift, by the way. Um, <laughs> just saying. Are there some oil thermometers? You stick it in there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to set that there because it's not ready to go. Okay, so let's come over here again. Okay, I got my little croissants there. I love croissants, by the way. They're light, they're fluffy, they're delicious. You toast them, you don't toast them, whatever, they're great. I just cut them up because Dad loves bread, too. He's a bread guy. The other thing is the tea, okay? My dad loved tea. He tells the story, he used to tell the story, obviously, that he never drank coffee except one time in his life. One time. And he was in the Army in Germany in 1955 or six, somewhere in that, that area. And um, he, he, had, he had guard duty through the night in the winter. And he said he was so cold that he walked into, when he finally got off, let's see if this is, okay. He said when he walked into the building after being on guard duty, for eight hours in the middle of the night in the freezing night, he said the only thing hot they had was coffee. <laughs> he just downed it. He was so freezing cold. But that is the only time my dad ever drank a cup of coffee. He was a teetotaler, as they say. He has he had European roots. He was an Irishman and a Frenchman, and he loved his tea. And every night at 10 p.m., Dad had to have a cup of tea. And he fixed it like an Englishman would. It was tea with cream and milk. And English people, that's how they have their tea. And it's like milk. Sweet. And no, no sugar, right? No sugar. No, he had a cookie or something. He what? He always had to have a like cookie. Oh, yeah. And then he, yes. And then he always had to have a cookie on the side, something sweet on the side, because he, he didn't sweeten the tea. It was just cream and tea. And then he'd have some kind of a sweet during the spring. Oh, he loved scones. Scones, he loved scones. He liked kind of the drier, yeah. biscuity yeah. kind of cookies, which I love too. I, I'm so telling you, I think I got a man's taste every, I think at lunch, he ate every uh, hot cross bun that he made. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right, during Easter. Okay, this, yeah. this is still cooking, and I think the, hot, the, the oil needs to be a little hotter. During Easter, my dad, I think, Made this, he ate all the cross, hot cross every, buns that was in every store. How many times did we go to stores and they were out of hot cross buns? So I think I said, I, I think dad ate them all. He I just ate hot it. cross buns. So Donna Cahill's watching. Hello, Donna, how are you, girl? Uh, Nicolette was asking, what was the oil comment in the pan? I think maybe she was, you were saying something about don't put the cold oil in the You pan. have to heat your pan before you put oil because the oil heats differently and cooks better. Mm -hmm. So if you just do take out your pan, put in oil, and then turn it on, it, that, that process changes the way things cook, and it's just not a good process. If you watch any cooking shows on mm -hmm. TV, you'll see every one of them turn, turn the stove on first. Heat the pan, then put your oil. That is the best way to cook. You know, you find out a lot of things as you go by. But as a young cook, I didn't know that. All right. And Aunt Karen just said, I heard that deep voice answering you. And I thought, who is that? And then I saw Eve. <laughs> she said, that boy is growing up. Yes, he is, Sharon. <laughs> All right. These, these are actually beautiful. You know what? I'm taking them out, but I think I'm going to put them back in. And I'll tell you why. I'm going to put the potato and everything on right in the pan and then serve them hot. So, I'm changing my mind. Okay, so let's get these back in the pan. 
And when the pies are done, so I'm going to turn this down and let them continue to cook. That's not going to hurt them a bit. And of course, I want to make sure that my meat is cooked all the way through. You don't want rare, uncooked ground turkey. You don't want it. Okay, how are we doing here, little Patty? Okay, now we're getting to a nice color. Okay, just look over there. Okay, Ethan, I'm going to start taking my little pies here. All right. And I saw the one of them. That's okay. All right. All right, let's put them in. Let's put them in. You could probably put even a little tiny bit more in there. Okay, just a little tiny bit more. And Harold said, Ethan sounds like his grandpa Chris and great grandpa Dan would have <laughs> <laughs> He does, actually. He does. That's true. Look at how nice that one is. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's a pretty little pie right there. Pretty little pie. Okay, get some more filling in that middle, boy. But you're doing a great job. The outsides look amazing. Thank you. Did you. That. you did that perfect, honey. Perfect. Thank you very much. All right. Beautiful. Okay. Let's flip. This one. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Look at that. It smells amazing in here. <laughs> yes, it does, right? Okay. So basically, guys, the meal is done. I'm just saying, we are 35 minutes into the show. The meal is done. I'm finishing up the desserts. I want to show you this. Come look at this. Is that beautiful or what? That's going right here. Now, while this is hot, I'm going to put my powdered sugar on it. <laughs> Woohoo! Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay. While these are cooking, I'm going to turn that up just a tiny bit. I'm going to start putting mashed potatoes on my meat. You know what? I, for, this, for, for the sake of you know making sure the meat is done, I'm actually going to cut in the middle. They're done. Nicolette just said, I'm sure you could air fry them, but who wants to be that healthy with dessert? <laughs> you know, I actually thought about using the air fryer, but I just wanted to make sure I did it right for the show, so. Okay, so, okay, let's do this. Chris, can you see this? Right on top of the meatloaf, we're putting the potatoes. Right on top. Bobby's watching also. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. <laughs> you know that guy. <laughs> okay, there's that. This is great. Oh, man, oh man. Look at this, guys. You could actually, if you wanted to, you could actually put cheese. I don't know if Dad was, he liked cheese, but I'm not going to ruin what, you know, no. what he did. But what you did for him, but um, you can literally put some cheese on top of that and um, just, you know, let it melt, and that would be amazing, too. Oh, my gosh, these little pies are beautiful. Look at that, Chris. Looks amazing. Yeah, they really, really do. They're just turning out beautiful. Okay. Oh, these are, look at this. Oh, I'm so excited. I remember having these, well, not these, you made a big meatloaf with this on yeah, top. I'm just making the mini ones. But I remember many, many times through the years having this amazing meal. And it was in one, Mom used to make a giant, because they were Mom and Dad, five kids, and a big dining room table, and Mom would have to make giant meatloaves. I remember. <laughs> so Nicolette said it's turning into a shepherd's pie. It's kind of, yes, yes, in, in a sense, yes it is. Okay. Look at these guys. Oh my gosh. Those are perfect, beautiful little pies. They Those really, look great. really look great. They really they look, look great. beautiful. Yeah. Color. Yeah. Color, the color is great. Yeah, I can see that. From yeah. Here. yeah. This one fell apart, so I'm taking it out because I don't want the stuff in the middle to be in my oil and so I'm just going to take that out in the meantime 
Yeah. Just saying, you lay so a yes. pumpkin in a can that's already prepared. fixed. Um, not that I know of. You usually have to put your spice and yeah, and your sugar and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I, I don't know, and I'm not saying 100%, but I don't think you can get prepared like ready to make a pie yeah, pumpkin. Yeah, that's what I mean. yeah, I don't think so. And I could be wrong. So if anybody, ooh, that's hot. If anybody out there knows better or different, then let me know. I'm just gonna get some more of the pies. These are better. These are more <clears throat> Yeah, and he's working hard at that. Good job, bud. All right. Those are beautiful. Okay, let's get some peas on the little meatloaves. Let's just put a hole in the thing. Just kind of push it down, make sure the peas are sticking. Mom used to have it in a big giant pan, so you didn't have to worry about the peas rolling off. But that's okay. This is good, it's easy. Well, you didn't have to make five yeah. pans. Oh, this is this is super easy. And remember, guy, you I mean if you wanted to, you could use instant mash, but as quick as real mashed potatoes are. Uh, I, I don't, I can't use the instant, and besides, they taste way terrible. <laughs> Bailey hates instant mashed potatoes, yeah. but she likes Turn this down a little, now it's getting warm. She she, and she knows. Okay. She Ooh, knows. Nice and, and, one and one more. One more. Okay. Look at that. A few more peas. Okay. That's a beautiful. These are not going to take much longer. This is done. I'm going to turn that down. I'm going to turn this down. And holy cow, we are basically done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of pieces of bread right here. And let's go get a, a meatloaf. Doesn't that look beautiful? Yes, it does. Look at that, guys. Wow. Yeah. Eden, will you take a picture of that, please, while I finish the pies? Amen. Okay, pies are done. Let's get them out. There we go.
They're right there. Look at those meatloaf. Mm -hmm. That is some good stuff right there. Woo! Man, that's good. Nice. A little fried pumpkin pies, how easy was that? Wonderful. If you want the recipe for this, if you want the recipe for any of this stuff, and it's not on the site somewhere, just ask me for it, and I'll send you a recipe. Hey, Dottie, would you make sure Elizabeth gets your address? I'd like to send you something for your birthday. So happy birthday to Dottie. And thank you for joining us today. Let me get these out of here. I'm going to shut this off. You don't ever want to leave hot grease in a pan, you guys. So, Nicolette, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you. Yes. Thanks, Nicolette. <clears throat> get all your mom, your sister, everybody you know to please do it. Yeah, get all so your friends. So we can get to that 100 mark to get this cookbook out. You guys, trust me, you want the cookbook. Oh, it's wonderful. Okay, and we'll we'll start doing free orders. If I get to about 85, we'll, get to, we'll start doing free orders, okay? Uh, all right, guys. Here's the dessert. Wow. I'm so excited. Anyway, thank you for joining us today. Come next week. You know what? Another birthday next week. My daughter Emily that usually helps in the kitchen. It's her birthday. And we're going to do her favorite meal. I said, what do you want for your birthday meal-wise? And she said she loves Monte Cristo sandwiches. Oh, yeah. We're making Monte Cristos. We'll see how that goes. But anyway... We want to thank all of you for being with us. We love you guys. We appreciate the time you take every week to be with us here in Branson, Missouri. I'm Christine D. And this is my cooking with Feta. Bye, everybody. God bless you. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Hey, listen. Thank you so much for watching today's show as we celebrated my dad Art's birthday. He would have been 85 years old today. We love you, Dad, and we know you watched the show and you saw us make meatloaf. He loved meatloaf. We want to thank all of you for tuning in today. We want to wish a happy birthday to Dottie and to Top Gun, our friend in Arizona. And so we want to thank you guys for joining us today. And listen, while you're here, just like and subscribe because we're trying to get to that 100 subscriber mark so that I can get my great my cooking nook fed up cookbook out to you guys it's waiting for you so just like and subscribe we love you guys thank you so much we'll see you next wednesday bye bye